Hey, Big Geordie Geek here, uh, and uh, I'm basically doing a little bit of an overview of an army I took to an event at the beginning of October up at Common Ground Games in Stirling, uh, run by my mate Graham and, and, and Nick and, uh, and, and, and others, uh, a part of Warzone Heresy. And uh, basically what, uh, this is the Death Guard army I took, it's a three and a half thousand point army. I thought I'd give a general overview of what I took, and this is sort of a way of helping me work out some workflow stuff. Uh, for um, the podcast um, so trying to figure out ways of doing things better and sometimes that actually means doing some experimentation so that you can actually see yeah proof in the pudding basically make something and if it works great I can apply that to anything anyway let's have a look at the army okay so let's start off with the HQ it's usually the uh, most sensible place to start and we have here a, a Praetor and he is converted uh, from the uh, Pre Legion Praetor uh, Tribune in Tartarus Terminator armor that was released a, a fair few years ago. And uh, basically he has been converted to be uh, having a, um, uh, as you can see my paint job's not best in the world, but he has a, uh, a power scythe and a, uh, a, co a combi alchem flamer. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a really, really good combination usually for Death Guard, but uh, obviously it's not as... Uh, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Resilient as a uh, Cataphracti armor. Uh, moving into the next unit, we have a Moratat. Uh, this is a Moratat without a jump pack because uh, Death Guard, in the lore, they tend not to like uh, do it using jump packs too much. Um, so I decided to stick with that and kind of give him just a uh, jump. You know, he's just on foot. He has two plasma pistols. Um, just this is just a standard model that you get with two plasma pistols uh, and uh, it's a really really fun model to paint although I don't know why he's got uh, shells on the base uh, that's just the way the model comes even though neither of them has uh, uh, bolt, uh, bolter, uh, bolt pistols weird Next out the bag, we have a standard Death Shroud uh, Squad 5. Uh, these also have uh, Melter Bombs, uh, because I think that's a really good thing to uh, uh, have, multi-Melter Bombs. Um, the reason I usually take my uh, Praetor as a um, tr uh, Tartarus Armor is because I like to accompany him with the Death Shroud. It's nice and thematic. They have Tartarus Armor. It means I'm not sacrificing my ability to sweep. So these are great. Uh, but not, oh my god, the bases, they need repainting. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they are, they are, they're brilliant. I love these guys. Uh, not as good as in the previous edition, but they still, they still can uh, do a number on uh, enemies. Now, these guys have also got a Land Raider as a uh, dedicated transport. Now, I built these in the old edition when this was a type of Land Raider. Uh, now, it's just, it's still the Land Raider counts as, but it's, it is what it is. It's lovely, nice doors from um, uh, Forge World there. I bought an absolute ton of those when they came out. Uh, the only thing I don't dislike about it is the Imperial Killer on the uh, treads, but it is what it is. It's just what it was at the time. And I love this kit. It's great uh, and, and it's brilliant. I do like the new kit as well, but these are awesome. Uh, okay. Now we're moving into the Elite and we have a Contemptor. Uh, this guy has two Kerry's Assault Cannons and a Havoc Launcher. Um, he was a uh, Mortis uh, pattern uh, back in the day. Um, and uh, yeah, he's uh, always, always done handy. Those uh, Kerry's Assault Cannons are fantastic. And I think there's something that's been kind of undervalued in the uh, current edition. Um, people tend to not take them as much as they uh, did in the previous edition. Then we have something I always like to take with my Death Guard, the very themey, a squad of destroyers. These are the, are these the Mortalis ones, the ones without jump packs. Um, but yeah, no problem. Two squads there. Oh my God, you can see little cat hairs there. <laughs> uh, two uh, uh, missile launchers. They're good. They're great. Awesome unit. One of the things about this army is everything has a transport of some description. Uh, in the case of uh, uh, the Mortalis squads, they have a simple rhino just a simple bog standard rhino with a combi bolter no upgrades just plain and simple great great little unit and you'll see a few of these now as we said this is a reaping list which means heavy support squads can be taken as troops meaning you've got a lot more to take in your heavy support section and here we have the obligatory las cannon squad although this is seven man seven for the thematic 
Death Guard number. This is the new Mark VI kit with the Mark VI las cannons. Uh, this is my first Mark VI kit to go into the Death Guard. I was a little unsure about them, but actually they do fit rather well. And I'm thinking of getting some to make some uh, inducti. Um, there's no reason to take inducti. Just they're quite thematic and fun, and I'd like to do them on today. Next out the bag, another heavy support squad, this time all armed with heavy Alchem Flamers. Now, if you are a regular listener to the show, you know I have a lot of complaints about this. Alke all types of Alchem Flamers have the same impact. Uh, the only difference is AP, but even then that's only going to impact demons and uh, militia. Maybe solar ox. It's just armies you never really can see that very often, so it's not often that it's going to make an impact. And for the same... I could, I've got seven guys here with the heavy alkane flamers, but if I'd had seven, say, destroyers with hand uh, alkane flamers, they would put down twice as many um, templates and do the same damage at the same, you know, it's, it's, it's silly. But I've got them, I built them, it is what it is, but I'm probably going to at some point build a normal flamer squad um, because the heavy alkane flamers, there's just no point to them anymore. I may as well save the points elsewhere. There is one thing that Graham hates about the heavy Alchem squad, though. Uh, it is, and it, it, it's, it's the weapon is an assault weapon. It's not heavy, so they can jump out the Rhino that they've got attached here and still fire without any issues. He hates that. <laughs> I love it. My next heavy support squad is auto cannons. Now, auto cannons, yeah, they're not sexy. Everyone's, all, you know, I think people have got a very uh, uh, opinion of auto cannons of. Eh. Um, people tend to overlook them, but I think they're great. I think auto cannons are absolutely amazing, um, and I love taking them in a squad. Uh, I especially love this guy's the sergeant's head. It's uh, it's it's a nice skin pattern I developed for Death Guard skin. It's basically iron racks, iron rack flesh, uh, uh, and then um, a uh, wash of Agrax Earthshade, and then a uh, tidy up with um, deep kin flesh and then pallid witch flesh highlight. <laughs> But yeah, these uh, these auto cannons, absolutely phenomenal. Seven man squad, just like the heavy flame squad is seven man. And yep, seven. Sadly, it can't all just be about heavy support troops. So I do have two tactical squads in here. They're all 10 man squads. Uh, the are all, both sergeants have artificer armor. We do have a Vexelia in there, although it's not actually on the army list. It's just built and it's for show off. They've all got chain swords. And uh, this sergeant in particular has a lightning claw. Now the thing is with the death guard, basically when, they, they're, when they're off to war, you basically get handed a bolt pistol, a bolter and a chainsword, go do what you want with. And these amplify that. They can do stuff, but they're not the master at anything in particular. And of course they have an obligatory rhino because as I said, I like to take transports with, with these squads. I like to build the, the, this. My death guard is very much a sort of armored infantry, I guess. And here we have a second tactical squad. The only difference between this and the previous tactical squad is that the sergeant has a power scythe instead of a lightning claw. And say it with me, folks, the obligatory rhino. Just like every other rhino, but this is the last one on the list. Uh, now we're into heavy support and we have here a squad of Grave Wardens. Now, maybe not the best layout. They have a heavy Alchem Flamer, three of the gr Assault Grenade Launcher guys. And the Sergeant has a Combi uh, Grenade Launcher. And I kind of regret that. I wish I'd just put on a Assault gr Grenade Launcher. But I may buy another squad because these are really, really fun. They are a really fun unit to play with. Of course, these guys have a uh, transport as well. Another Land Raider. Um, because, yeah, Terminators love Land Raiders, and it's great. I love Land Raiders. The next heavy support choice is a wonderful Fire Raptor. I love this model, but you know what? It doesn't really survive on the table very much in the new edition, because everything's got an augury scanner, and everything can shoot it, intercept it. So, yeah, it's not so much fun using this particular uh, model these days, and it did get shot out of the sky in every single game because that's just the way it rolls in this edition, but I still love it and I still want to take it. And I wish it was, uh, I wish it, I wish it was easier to keep flies in the air. And the final uh, heavy support squad is a Leviathan. Now this Leviathan has got your storm cannon, your siege, your siege claw, uh, Alchem flamers, Phosphex launcher, the works. Wonderful, wonderful unit. Um, <laughs> and these are absolutely brutal on the tabletop. Uh, yeah, they're fantastic. Um, I think I want to get another one. I just love them that much. They're great units, but 
it is what it is it did all right but not amazing but that's probably just because of me and my bad dice rolling and tactics anyway the other thing that was happening at this event was potentially we were going to play zone mortalis uh, so we had to also a bit of zone mortalis list and i had a few different units in that uh, i'll put the list down below but i'm not going to go through what was in it exactly but I i'll leave a link to my list but one of the things i did was i substituted out the um the uh, uh, basically the Death Shroud and the Tartarus Praetor one in there, so I put in this uh, Power Armored Praetor, which is the new uh, dedicated kit made by, uh, well, Ford World. Now Games Workshop, I get, well, Warhammer, I guess. Um, and yeah, great little model, love this guy. Uh, definitely, definitely love this model. Uh, and he was, uh, yeah, he was gonna be the HQ and Warlord for that, uh, for that particular list. That list would also have an extra Contemptor. This Contemptor is armed with LAS cannons and a, um, a, a melter uh, gun inside a chain fist. Love this Dreadnought. He's done me well over the years, but <laughs> he's, he's uh, maybe not the best loadout these days. I think the power fist is preferred over the chain fist uh, by most players. But, who you know, it's what I had before and I, I still like the unit. Looks good. And finally, a Catafranchi Terminator squad. This is a resin squad from years ago. They have the sergeant with power side, grenade um, um, thing on the top. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, so, uh, we've got two chain fists in the unit and a uh, Reaper auto cannon. Absolutely fantastic uh, unit. And uh, they, they don't take any prisoners. Um, but I don't, unfortunately, I didn't get to play Zone Mortalis. So. Anyway, so that's the army I took. It wasn't very good. It lost every single match really, really badly. I lost every game so badly, but it is what it is because I'm a terrible player. I roll bad dice and I make bad tactical decisions. That's pretty much my fault. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, so as I said, this was an experimentation in helping me develop a better workflow for doing the podcast. Um, so I hope it's worked out all right. And I'm just realizing my eyes look really funny. I'm using some AI technology to make myself look at the camera more and it, I don't know is, is it work yeah anyway um thanks very much um for the uh for tuning in and if you've stayed this long give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like and this also helping with the battle report stuff as well so hopefully we'll have some one of those in the next couple of weeks so thank you very much for tuning in and have a good um time night morning day whatever bye bye